Hello, my name is Glenn Hall. Today is May 14th, 2021, and today's video is called Satan's Kingdom is in Civil War. I want to share with you uh, several things the Lord has been showing me this week through His Word. It's very important for all of God's people to be reading the Bible. Uh, there are many false prophets out today, both those who say that they are Christians and those who simply say that they are spiritual. <clears throat> the, um, the spiritual ones, the ones who say that they are spiritual, are largely of uh, what I would call the New Age movement. They believe in God, generally, and most of them really believe that they are doing right and that they, <clears throat> and I believe that they want to do right. I think a lot of them have uh, revealed many good things that um, President Trump did, for example, as he was president. Nevertheless, they, um, are seriously wrong in their theology and in their uh, spiritual beliefs. And I've gone into some of that in detail in previous videos. Um, it's important for a person to have the word of the Lord revealed to them. I often remind people of 1 Samuel chapter 3, where the Lord calls to Samuel, and Samuel did not yet know the Lord. <clears throat> and in verse 7, it says, He did not know the Lord because the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. Well, this is the case with respect to most people, including most people who say that they're Christians and certainly all of the New Age uh, false prophets that are um, out there today. And it's a simple matter for God to reveal himself to somebody. For some reason, he, he doesn't reveal himself to everyone at this time. But for those people who want truth and who love truth, I believe God will reveal himself to you. So if you will take the time to read the Bible, and allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you through the Bible, you will become convinced that Jesus Christ is the Word of God. He is the Word made flesh. He is the stumbling stone. Everyone wants to take responsibility for their own salvation, their own ascension into themselves, unto themselves. They want to be good enough or do it well enough in order to make that leap from the third dimension where we are to their fifth dimension. That's what everybody says that they're moving into right now. <clears throat> and they're higher vibrations, okay? They're vibrating up to the fifth dimension. It's only going to happen when the word of God is revealed to you. You can, you can parrot what people are saying all day long, but it's not going to change your reality. Those of you who are these new age purveyors of truth, when you begin to raise the dead and heal the sick without your med bed, when you begin to calm the storm, when you begin to walk on the water, when you begin to cast out demons, then I would listen, at least listen more to what you have to say. But right now, I believe that most of you are, are simply channeling evil spirits. I know that you don't believe that, but the evil spirits masquerade as angels of light, and you think you're following light, but you're not. 
The reality is that the kingdom of Satan is now in civil war. This was prophesied by Jesus 2,000 years ago. And let's just go to Matthew chapter 12. Jesus was being persecuted then. This is verse uh, 22 of Matthew 12. Then a demon-oppressed man who was blind and mute was brought to Jesus, and he healed him, so that the man spoke and saw. And all the people were amazed and said, Can this be the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, the establishment, the powers that be, the cabal, when the Pharisees heard it, they said, It's only by Beelzebul, the prince of demons, that this man casts out demons. Knowing their thoughts, Jesus said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and no city or house divided against itself will stand. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then can his kingdom stand? Now he goes on, and I'm not going to take time to read what he says after this, but he, he gave us a prophecy here. If Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? What you have now, you have a tremendous amount of people who follow the cabal, people who are into the uh, satanic sacrifices, the child sex trafficking, the drinking of adrenochrome, the murders, the thefts, the ruling of this world by lies and deceit. You have many people who are still there. And then you have a whole other group of people who have seen that that's evil, that that's wrong. We don't want any part of that. But they continue to remain in Satan's kingdom even though they don't know it. Those people are fighting against Satan so Satan's kingdom is divided, and there is civil war in Satan's kingdom. And really, what is the cabal trying to do in America right now? They're trying to create a civil war in America. They, they pit black against white. They pit one race against another, one belief against another, all the time. They're constantly setting people against one another, trying to create a civil war. Well... There is a civil war going on within the kingdom of Satan. The reality is that God raised up Donald Trump to destroy Babylon the Great. Donald Trump was always part of that kingdom. You, you've seen the pictures. You've seen the people he hung out with. You, uh, you saw the shows that he um, performed in. And so he was always friends with that crowd. He went to their parties. But he did not indulge in the satanic evil that they indulged in. God molded him within that circle of friends that he had. And he was a man of strong enough character so that God chose him to be the one who would bring down Babylon the Great. But the reality is, in, in Revelation chapter 17, even when you have the introduction of the eighth head of the beast, you still see that the eighth, eighth head of the beast and his false prophet fight against the Lamb. They are not walking according to the dictates of the Lamb of God, of Jesus Christ. They do not walk according to the word of God. Nevertheless, I supported Donald Trump in both elections. I support him even today and hope that he takes back the reins of power from this demonical system that is now ruling this country. But I understand that if he does take power back, we still are living not in the kingdom of God. 
Donald Trump is not a Messiah. Donald Trump is not the Savior. Donald Trump will not lead us to the kingdom of God. He is not one of the Kodashim who will be ruling in the kingdom of God, at least not yet. I believe that he can be and that he probably will be because he will be thrown into the fire so that he learns the law of God. We are in a civil war, the civil war of Satan, and, and things are crazy. I believe that now we literally have entered into the tribulation, what everyone calls the great tribulation at the end of time. And we are approaching the hour of trial that is coming upon the whole earth that Jesus prophesies about. Now, I want to take you to a couple of other scriptures so that you understand something about the timing of God. This one is in Matthew chapter 8, verse 28. And when Jesus came to the other side, the other side of a huge lake or sea, to the country of the Gadarenes, two demon-possessed men met him, coming out of the tombs, so fierce that no one could pass that way. And behold, they cried out, What have you to do with us, O Son of God? They recognized Jesus. Note that. No one had to tell them who he was. They simply saw Jesus and they knew who he was. What have you to do with us, O Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Isn't that interesting? Have you come here to torment us before the time? They knew there was a time coming. Now a herd of many pigs was feeding at some distance from them. And the demons begged him, saying, If you cast us out, send us away into the herd of pigs. So, the demons knew who Jesus was, and they knew it was not yet time for their judgment. Now let's go to Revelation chapter 12, verse 7. Now war arose in heaven, Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back, but he was defeated. That is, Satan, the dragon, and his angels were defeated. And there was no longer any place for them in heaven. And the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brothers has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him. They have overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. To the law and to the testimony, we must speak according to the word of God. And they overcame Satan by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they loved not their lives even unto death. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. But woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil has come down to you in great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. He knows his time is short. This is the time we live in right now. And by the way, this chapter 12 begins with the great sign in the heaven, which is the sign of the birthing of the first fruits, sons of God, the ones who will rule with a rod of iron. And so the reason why the kingdom of God begins at this point is because these Kodeshim, these sons of God, will rule with a rod of iron at this time. Satan knows his time is short. Now, not these are only the first fruits at this time, and so there are going to be a lot of people who are not yet, not yet walking holy with God. And so they won't be in faith, and they will need to be uh, protected and nourished by these Kodeshim. Now, going to Revelation 18. The reality is that 
the kingdom of Satan is in civil war. And unfortunately, many, many Christians are still in the satanic camp. Some of those Christians are actually in the, the really evil camp that is protecting the cabal and protecting the child sex traffickers. And many others are being seduced by the New Age preachers and false prophets. But God gives this warning in chapter 18 of Revelation. After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth was made bright with his glory. And he called out with a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. We are seeing Babylon fall before our eyes today. She has become a dwelling place for demons, a haunt for every unclean spirit, a haunt for every unclean bird, a haunt for every unclean and detestable beast. For all nations have drunk the wine of the passion of her sexual immorality, and the kings of the earth have committed immorality with her, and the merchants of the earth have grown rich from the power of her luxurious living. Satan ruled the entire earth. You can go to many places in the scripture and see that Satan is called the ruler of this world. When Jesus came, Satan offered Jesus kingdoms. Satan is the ruler of this world. His satanic government has ruled this world for many, many years. Thousands of years. Then chapter, uh, it's chapter 18 of Revelation, verse 4. So he tells us about Babylon the Great falling, telling us what it is. It's unclean. Then I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. See, God's people, a lot of God's people are still in Babylon. You have to come out. Why are you following the propaganda that you hear every day? Why do you walk in the ways of the world? Why do you submit to the things that they say, do not handle, do not taste, do not touch? Why do you take their poisonous jabs? Why do you listen to them? Come out of her, my people, lest you take part in her sins, lest you share in her plagues, for her sins are heaped high as heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Pay her back as she herself has paid back others, and repay her double for her deeds. Mix a double portion for her in the cup she mixed. As she glorified herself and lived in luxury, so give her a like measure of torment and mourning, since in her heart she says, I sit as a queen. I am no widow, and mourning I shall never see. For this reason, her plagues will come in a single day, death and mourning and famine, and she will be burned up with fire. For mighty is the Lord God who has judged her, and the kings of the earth who committed sexual immorality and lived in luxury with her will weep and wail over her when they see the smoke of her burning. They will stand off in fear of her torment and say, Alas, alas, you great city, you mighty city Babylon, for in a single hour your judgment has come. In a single hour your judgment has come. Are you ready? We are entering that hour. The prophets have spoken. The prophets have warned. Come out of her, my people, lest you share in her sins, lest you share in her plagues. The civil war in Satan's kingdom began five years ago, six years ago, when Donald Trump announced that he was running for president. And from that time until now, the kingdom of Satan has been in civil war. That kingdom is called Babylon the Great. Are you still in Babylon? Come out of her. Come out of her now.